Hello friends, it's story time with Miss Dina. And today we are going to read this book, The Lonely Mailman. Come on, let's read. Hi friends, so we're going to be reading this story, The Lonely Mailman. Before we get started, I want to go over some vocabulary words. You can see over here, our first word is hardly. When you can do something, but not well. I can hardly lift my head up. You can lift it up, but it's like, oh, really hard, hardly. The next word is pricked, poked by something sharp. The hedgehog pricked my finger. Flickering, when the lights flash on and off. During the storm, the lights were flickering. Apologies, messages that say you are sorry for something you did. It's a kind of note or letter that you write, might write somebody. Or someone might say, my apologies, meaning they're sorry. Exhausted, meaning very tired. The man was exhausted after a long day of work. Typewriter is a machine that is used uh, for writing with a keyboard, which often does not need electricity, meaning you don't have to plug it in. It's just um, a keyboard that you just type on, and you'll see that in the book. Nervously, feeling worried. When you do something nervously, you're kind of feeling worried, and you're like, oh, you know. Secret. That means something kept hidden from others. Can you keep a secret? This one has quotes because it's um, a, a, like a phrase. It says lump in his throat. And when you get a lump in your throat, usually you feel like you're about to cry. Anybody ever notice having a lump in your throat and just feeling like you're gonna start crying. The next one is the same thing. It's in quotes because it's something that is a phrase in the book um, and says, plucks up his courage, making yourself feel brave or getting ready to do something scary. You might have to pluck up some courage. And our last word is blushes, becomes red in the face. So when you get embarrassed about something, sometimes your face will turn red, oh no. Um, so in the story, um, the mailman blushes and we'll find out about that. All right, let's get started on our story. Before we do that, a little introduction. So, we're going to read the story called The Lonely Mailman. And every day, the lonely, lonely mailman delivers letters to the other animals in the forest. But no one knows much about him. He doesn't say much, and after he delivers a letter, he doesn't stay long. But one day, the mailman finds a letter for him. Who could it be from? Let's read the story and find out who the letter is from. Are you ready? All right. So, oops. That's the back of our book. We can't read our book like that, can we? <laughs> Here's the front of our book. This is the front. We have our title, The Lonely Mailman. It tells us who it's by, Susanna Eastern. And 
It doesn't say illustrator, but I'm guessing that Daniel Fontero Gallian, Gallian is the illustrator. Okay. And we turn our pages from right to left. And the first page we come to is our title page. Because why? It shows us our title and the author and the illustrator again. These pictures are just beautiful. I love, I love these pictures. They're so pretty. All right. Every morning, just as the sun is rising, the old mailman leaves his house with a bag full of letters. He climbs onto his bicycle and sets off on his way. The mailman goes, door goes to each door, rings the bell, and only says four words. Squirrel, letter for you. He whispers so quietly that even he can hardly hear the words. Hedgehog, letter for you. Now, remember that word hardly? That means he can hear, but it's hard to hear. So even when he whispers, even he could hardly hear himself. Here's what the letter said. Dear Squirrel, sorry about pricking you yesterday when I bumped into you at the market. To make up for it, come over for dinner at eight and don't be late. Signed, Hedgehog. Dear Hedgehog, I know you pricked me yesterday, but don't worry, I know you didn't mean to. If you invite me for dinner, we can have a chat. I'll be there at eight. So see you then, squirrel. Pricked, so hedgehog accidentally pricked, squirrel. Sometimes the animals that live in the forest offer him a cup of coffee, but the mailman always smiles and says, no, thank you, and rides off in a cloud of dust. Dormouse, letter for you. Sorry, Dormouse, I only realized yesterday that I'm tapping away next to your nest. I know how much you like to rest, so I'm off to find another tree to peck. Woodpecker. He never gets off his bicycle. Woodpecker, letter for you. Here's what Woodpecker's letter says. Dear Woodpecker, the tree where you started to, to peck is next to my nest, and now I can hardly sleep. Couldn't you move to another tree? Dormouse. The animals see him cycling through the forest every day, but they hardly know him. There's that word again, hardly. It means they know him, but not very well. Butterfly, letter for you. In fact, nobody knows anything about the mailman at all. Turtle, letter for you. Beautiful butterflies. There's plenty of room on my shelf where you can sunbathe in peace and quiet. And if it starts to rain, you can also come inside for a cup of tea. Turtle, that was nice. Here's the letter to Turtle. Dear wise old Turtle, we'd love to come and visit you, to flutter around and keep you cool, and sit a while on your lovely shell, listening to your tales while we enjoy the sun, the butterflies. Some of the animals think the mailman is sad, and that's why he doesn't say much. Bear. Letter for you, but nobody really knows because nobody has ever asked him. Rabbit, letter for you. Here's Bear's letter. Dear Bear, when I see you swimming in the lake, I want you to be there with you. I want to be there with you, but I feel a bit scared because I am afraid to get water in my ears and I can't swim. Rabbit. Dear Rabbit, 
I've had a great idea for when I'm bathing in the lake. You can climb up on my back, just as if I were a big old boat. Bear. All through the day, the old mailman rides around delivering mail in the forest. He visits the wolf, the deer, the frogs, the beaver, the fox, the skunk, and the fish in the river. Such a pretty picture. I love these. Illustrator does a fantastic job. At last, the sun sets and the mailman is no, has no more letters in his bag. Feeling very tired, he heads home. Every night, the old mailman sits down in the flickering candlelight and writes letters. They are the letters he'll be delivering the next day. Invitations, apologies, plans, and messages full of love. He writes and writes until he's exhausted, then falls fast asleep on top of his typewriter. Flickering. Remember how we were talking about flickering? So. He uses candlelight. So if you've ever seen a candle, how it kind of, you know, it, it waves in the, in the wind and it'll, you know, it'll flutter a little bit. That's what they're talking about, flickering. The light kind of just flickers because it's a candle. Again, he writes apologies. That means he's telling somebody they're sorry or that he's sorry, which... He writes the letters for the animals, so he's saying sorry for somebody else. Exhausted. Do you remember this word means very tired? Now you remember he was already very tired when he got home from work, but now that he stayed up to write letters and letters and letters, now he's really exhausted. He's very tired. And then he falls fast asleep on top of his typewriter, and you can see... This thing right here is a typewriter. You put your paper in there and it doesn't use electricity and you just type. There's the mailman. One day when the mailman is just about to finish his round, something amazing happens. The last letter has his name and his address written on the envelope. It's a letter for him. Who do you think it's from? The mailman nervously heads home. That means he's worried, right? He's worried about who the letter's from and what it might say. It's the first time he's ever had a letter. When he arrives, he puts it into the mailbox and whispers four words. Do you think he whispers? Mailman, letter for you. Then he opens the mailbox, takes out the letter, and enters his house. Here's what the letter said. Dear Mailman, for a long time, your letters have filled our days with love and happiness. But now we've discovered your secret. Remember, a secret is something that you keep from somebody. So he was keeping a secret. He wasn't telling anybody that he wrote the letters. And we want to thank you. Most of all, we want to share our happiness with you. The forest animals. They figured out his secret. They figured out that he's the one that writes all the letters. Let's find out what happens next. The old mailman feels a big lump in his throat and his eyes fill with tears. Remember when you get that lump in your throat, that means you're about to cry. Suddenly the old doorbell lets out a rusty squeak. It is the first time anyone has ever come to the mailman's door. Ooh, how do you think he's feeling? Yeah. He plucks up his courage and opens the door. Outside, the forest animals are waiting. When they see him, 
they all rush over. Remember, that plucks up his courage. That means he's getting ready to do something brave or, or um, he's going to be brave or do something scary. The old mailman smiles and blushes amongst all the cheers and hugs. And then he begins to think about all the letters he'll be writing tonight. Remember that word blushes mean that means your face gets a little red. The end. That is such a cute little story. So who did the who did the other animals think the letters were from? Yes, they thought they were from the other animals. And why do you think the mailman secretly wrote the letters for them? Yes, maybe they were too scared to write them. And so the mailman, he was brave, and so he wrote them. Look at the letters the mailbox or the mailman wrote for rabbit and bear. The mailman knew Rabbit was scared of the water, and the mailman knew how Bear could help Rabbit feel safe. Why did the mailman write them letters? What else could the mailman have done to solve their problem? Yes, uh, exactly, I agree. The lonely mailman is too busy delivering mail to talk to the other animals in the forest. What do they do to make friends with him? How can we use letters to make friends? Yes. So they wrote a letter to him and they came over and surprised him. And, um, you know, I think writing letters to people is something that um, doesn't happen very often anymore um, with the fast paced pace of the internet and text messages and um, just everything so quick now that we've um, lost touch with. I call it snail mail because it takes longer to get there like a snail. But, um, I think that we should write letters. So if you have a friend and you would love to let, write them a letter, ask your parents how you can write them a letter and get an address so you can send it to your friend. I bet they will be tickled pink. That means very excited to get your letter. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.